Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to six of my newest members. PJ Parth, Silvio Duarte, Pacome, Anand Ulaganathan, Nicholas Chick, and Kessler Cribs. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. I hope I didn't mispronounce any of the names. If I did, forgive me. Members are given shout outs in my videos. You can easily become a member by clicking the join button. Let's get started. So today we're going to be looking at a differential equation. This differential equation is not that complicated given the fact that we don't really have any x terms. We only have the derivatives of y. So we have the second derivative of y equals the first derivative squared. So how do we solve these kinds of questions? First of all, we don't have the y itself, but we have the derivatives. So we can go ahead and use substitution here. Let's go ahead and set y prime equal u. So that implies that the derivative of y prime is u prime, but the derivative of y prime is y double prime or the second derivative of y. So we can safely say that y double prime is equal to u prime. Let's go ahead and substitute. We get u prime equals u squared. Obviously, this equation is easier to solve than the original one. Now, let's go ahead and write, in this case, even though we didn't mention it a lot of times that happens, uh, y is a function of x, therefore u is also a function of x. Since u is a function of x, we can write u prime as du over dx, and u squared is just going to stay like that. Now, we want to separate the variables so that we can use integration to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and separate the variables. And we can do so by putting the du and u squared together and leaving the dx alone. Now at this point, I would like to solve for u and you can do so by integrating both sides. Let's go ahead and do that. Integrate both sides with respect to x and you're going to be getting something like, what is the integral of one over u squared? If you think about the differentiation rules, you must remember that the derivative of 1 over x is equal to negative 1 over x squared. So we want to get something like 1 over u squared or 1 over x squared, so no big deal here to change the variables. So in order to get a positive result, we kind of have to differentiate the negative 1 over x because that's going to give us 1 over x squared. Great. So in other words, the integral of the u over u squared can be written as negative 1 over u. So normally you would put constants, but since the difference of two constants is also a constant, I'm going to put that on the right hand side. The integral of dx is x plus c, c being a constant. Now obviously here we're trying to solve for u, so let's go ahead and flip both sides. So in other words, if you take the reciprocal, you get negative u equals 1 over x plus c, and then by negating both sides, in other words, multiply both sides by negative 1, you get u equals negative 1 over x plus c. So that seems to be a solution for this equation, but remember u is not the main variable, we have to back substitute. But anyways, in this case c is a constant, so any function in this form should satisfy this equation. Under certain conditions, of course, you don't want the denominator to be 0, you do not want x values that make the denominator 0, so on and so forth. Now, what am I going to do at this point, right? What is u? u is y prime. Great. So let's go ahead and back substitute that, replace u with y prime. So this gives you another differential equation, which is separable. Great. Let's go ahead and write the y prime as dy over dx. And then you can separate the variables here by putting the, you know, dx and x plus c together. And we can keep the negative on the right hand side. It doesn't really matter. Same thing. So we can safely say that this is like negative 1 dx over x plus c. So at this point, since we got dy and dx on either side, that means they're separable. We can go ahead and integrate both sides to solve for y. Okay, when we solve for y, of course, we're going to have another constant, which is okay, and I'm going to write that constant on the right-hand side as before. So if you integrate dy, you get y, 
And what about negative 1 over x plus c? So when you think about something like this, obviously the negative sign can be you know, put outside as a coefficient. So we can totally get rid of this negative 1 as a coefficient. So it's kind of like negative 1 times 1 over x plus c. But what is the integral of 1 over x plus c? If you think about it, uh, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, or the derivative of ln x plus c is 1 over x plus c, right, from the chain rule. But since in this case we, we have to make sure that the ln function is well defined, we must use the absolute value. So we're going to write it as follows. The integral of negative 1 over x plus c can be written as negative ln absolute value of x plus c, and then I do need another constant, and it can be d. Great. So that basically must be a solution. And we can easily check that by substitution. Let's go ahead and do that now. So if you go ahead and consider our original equation, it was y double prime equals y prime squared. And if you differentiate y, you're going to get negative 1 over x plus c because d is constant. And then if you differentiate it again, you're going to get the derivative of negative 1 over x plus c. And that should be 1 over x plus c squared. Okay, you can write it in different ways. You can write it like this or like that. They're the same. It doesn't really matter. Okay, because 1 squared is 1. Now, you can safely say that this is true for our original function because if you plug it in, you'll notice that this, the second derivative, is the first derivative squared. Right? Great. So it looks like it satisfies the equation. And that must be a valid solution then, right? Okay, there's another thing that we need to talk about. How about y equals 0? Yay, okay. Well, obviously, that's a solution too, because if y is equal to 0, then the first derivative is 0, the second derivative is 0, all the derivatives are 0, blah, blah, blah. Therefore, our equation is also satisfied by this function. In other words, we have two solutions to this equation. Great. Now, this equation did not uh, ask for it, but I'd like to give you as an extension to this problem because it could have, right? What would happen if they gave us initial conditions, right? I hope you heard about them. The initial conditions actually allow you to determine the constants in this case because notice that uh, our solution contains two constants, C and D, and they're undetermined. But if they, we were given initial conditions such as f of 0 equals 1 and f prime at 0 equals negative 1 over e, we could find the value of c and d very easily. Okay, so you want us to work it out? Well, f of 0 equals 1 basically means that you can just plug in, well, let's go ahead and write this down first. This is our solution, one of the solutions, of course. I'm not talking about 0 here, by the way, because if y is 0, then it's going to be always 0 for any x value, so this is not going to work with y equals 0. But for the other solution, that for which y does not equal 0, you can just plug in, um, you know, x equals 0. You're going to get negative ln c plus d is equal to 1. And then from the second equation, the derivative of this one, remember, was negative 1 over x plus c. And if you replace x with 0, you will get negative 1 over c equals negative 1 over e. From here, you're going to get c equals e. And if you plug in c equals e here, you're going to get negative ln e plus d equals 1 or d equals 2. And then by no finding the values of c and d, you can basically write the solution as negative ln x plus e plus d. And of course, d you must be uh, replaced with 2. And that's going to give us the initial condition solution. It wasn't given that way. That's why our solutions are basically these two. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.